Today we're going to be talking about pneumothorax and diving. We got a question recently about someone asking that they had suffered a pneumothorax from a fall from a mountain bike and whether they could return to diving or not. That's a very good question because a pneumothorax is not a good thing with diving. Now what I've got here is actually a bottle and it's filled with a balloon and what's keeping the balloon inflated inside the bottle is me holding my finger over this hole. Now I want to show you something. If I release my finger there, the balloon is going to collapse and that is essentially what happens with the pneumothorax. Now the pneumothorax is this part. It's this air that you can see over here where the balloon isn't. Now the problem is if you go diving with this, then when you ascend after a dive, it can not only make this collapse even further, but, and excuse the crude illustration, it can actually cause a tension pneumothorax, which is lethal. So the important thing about a pneumothorax in diving is that the pneumothorax must be completely healed. Now, if a person's been fit, like the individual who injured themselves with the uh, mountain bike fall, usually after six weeks, physicians can take another x-ray and they can confirm that the pneumothorax is actually healed. And once the pneumothorax is healed, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to return to diving. The chest x-ray shouldn't show scarring, but usually with a simple pneumothorax, that would not be the case. If people have suffered, for instance, tuberculosis or they have suffered a major injury like a gunshot wound to the chest, then it may involve scarring of the lung and that makes the lung vulnerable to future pneumothorax development and then it's not a good idea to dive. The bottom line, get advice from a diving physician when it comes to diving with or after a pneumothorax. Yeah.